honor to be here and very grateful to God and thankful to you all who invited me today. And then God will lead us today and be with uh, for this much time. And then let me uh, tell you the testimony in the Bible, two places, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Uh, in Old Testament, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. The Lord had said to Abraham, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land. I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. Right? And then second one, according to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7, Verse 7 to 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will, be, you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. My name is Boyong Kim, uh, who is academic dean in Seoul Christian University. And then I'm also the Old, the Old Testament professor at the same university. I also have been worked as a supervisor of international students since 2011. It's been uh, 20, 12 years. Uh, you are all Gentiles as well as international people uh, in this South Korea, right? I don't know how to come to Korea and what purpose for, I don't know exactly, but I believe this is the province of God who had planned already by Him, right? In the book of Genesis chapter 45, verse 4, followings, Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When the brothers, they had done so, he said, I am your brother, Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. Right? Even though both the environment and the area are totally different. You are in the similar position as Joseph. Do you believe me? Of course, your brothers and sisters in your country did not sell you, but you came here. You do not left. I jo I'm joking you. <laughs> Even though your family did not sell you, right? So you came here, like Joseph. Joseph says, this is the province of God who had a plan to me because he sent to Egypt ahead of his brothers because his brothers and Jacob had to move to Egypt sometime later, okay? So, but I truly understand your situation as a foreigner in South Korea because I also had studied in the University of Sheffield in England, the United Kingdom, over five years. Eighteen years ago, 2005, summertime, when I took my family to go to England, Sheffield, At the time, my first son, nine years old, and second son, six years, and with my wife. Furthermore, financially, I had not enough money to dare, because normally when we go abroad, we have to plan to live there, right? At least for three years. When I got an offer from the Sheffield, 
I usually plan to live there for three years. Originally, I had money up to <laughs> 60 million, million won, right? In, in Korean currency, 6천만 원. I had the money. So normally, uh, 2,000, 2,000 won, million won per year to the UK university. So in total, three years means 60 million won, 60 million won per, per three years. But before receiving the offer from the UK, I lost the money with my wife. I lost the money. So my wife and me, we had to pray for God. What shall we do? Do we have to leave or not? Just forget it. If you, then, what shall you do? Just forget it or just keep going? So my wife asked me to pray for three days without eating, without drinking for three days. So prayed and prayed and prayed. Did God send a message for me? What do you think? I never received any messages from God for three days. So my wife told me, just keep going on. Just go to, let's go to the UK with my two sons. So when I get ready to get there, I just got the money, just six months living cost money. So when we left to the UK, six months later, we have to, had to go back to Korea. So if you, and what should you do? Keep going on or not? So some people say, this is crazy. This is not good plan to go abroad because we didn't have money. So, and even I didn't meet any people, any person who support, who will support me. So, anyway, we went to the UK. When I started my study, the first semester, I usually was sitting in front of a line in the class. For three or four months, I listened the classes, the class listened and some subjects. After finishing the class, some professors questioned to the audience of students. At that time, I had taught in Old Testament for seven years in Korea as lecturers. So I had experienced many things. So when I went there, I was 35 years old, a little bit mature student, right? So whenever I listened to the message, I almost understood it. So when some professors asked to the audience, I hold up. So I answered some questions or some I joined the conversation and dialogue, something like that. Then three or four months later, the University of Committee had sent the official letter to me to dear Pastor Kim, the University of Sheffield made a decision to allow to 30,000 pounds for three years as a scholarship. This is a miracle. Why? 30,000 pounds means 60 million won. Exactly. Do you believe it? Yes. You have to believe it. 
This is my experience. The, the total money is same. So at that time, I realized the voice of God, your study, is not for your money, but for my, my money. Okay? So, I was very happy at that time. Oh, God showed me the way to live on, to study on, like that. Uh, do you know, you know, the Israelites in the book of Exodus, chapter 13 and 14, for 400 years and 430 years after moving to Egypt with Joseph's brother and his father lived there for over 400 years and descendants had lived continuously. And then the book Exodus showed us ten kinds of flavors God showed to the you know King Pharaoh, the Egyptian. And he had to permit the Israelites to leave the Egypt. Right? So in chapter 13 of the book of Exodus, many people, including multiple people with Israelite descendants, they took out from the Egypt. So this means Exodus. Exodus means in Greek, ex hodos. Ex means out. Hodos means way. So out of the way. The way means the way of slavery, the way of living in Egypt, right? But when they had a you know, miracle, when the Moses pulled up, the sea opened both sides. So the Israelites and other people, you know, crossed the sea. Do you know that? And then in the book of Exodus chapter 14, Chapter 14, three days later, chapter 14 and chapter 15, three days later, they complained. Why? Why they complained? They didn't have money, no, no, sorry, didn't have water, so they can't drink any cooling water. So they grumbled, they complained, they murmured to whom? Moses, the leader of the people. So the Moses was very unhappy. So he was trying to die to God. What shall I do? What can I do for Israelites? What can I do for them? So when I got the scholarship from the University of Sheffield three months later, there was some condition because first just condi condition is that we will allow 30,000 pounds for three years. Your study starts the following semester again. So why? Why they had a condition? to allow three years scholarship. Why? Because already the semester started three months ago. So this means that they could not scholarship anymore. So the following the following semester scholarship just they promised to allow me. So this means that they asked me to choose <clears throat> if you like to study, keep going on. Without scholarship, just keep going on study. If you li like to get scholarship, you know, the following semester, you can start it. What shall you do? Two options. First one, second one. You understand what I mean? Do you follow me? Yes. Yeah, what shall you do? 
will keep going on or just delay one more semester to get scholarship for three years? First one, second one. You understand what I mean? First one, second one. Of course, I chose second one because I could get the scholarship for three years. This means that after that five months, I had to stop my study because at that time, maybe February or March, the university allowed me to get scholarship the following semester. But the following semester started normally September. So from March to September. So how many months we have? At least six, right? Yes. So I had to work as a cleaner from then with my wife. Because God gave me a way to live one. And then even though he you know supported the financial situation with the you know tuition fee, but we had to leave one. And then three or four months later I just had two months living cost. As I told you when I started you know my study, I just had six months money to live live on, right? So just I have two months of living cost remained. I started my work as cleaner to convict. You know, some people, you know, went to the prison and after coming out of the prison, the city council normally lend some properties to the people. So my wife and me and another English woman, normally I drove my car with them. So we usually 20 or 30 miles per day. So three or four houses we, you know, visited there to clean up. Why I am telling you the book of Exodus chapter 15? Even though they had a miracle in the Red Sea, Three days later, they grumbled, they complained. We have no water to drink it like that. You know, after decision, the university allowed to give scholarship the following semester. And then one or two weeks later, I met a neighbor who is the China student, China. So we talked together about uh, many things, and then even to scholarship. He told me, yeah, he's got the scholarship as well. So I just asked him, what kind of scholarship do you have? <coughs> so uh, the scholarship names, university fee bursary. So uh, university fee bursary scholarship, yeah, this is my scholarship the following semester. I will get it. So what is the condition? I told you. I asked to me to him. So the Chinese Chinese guy told me, yeah, the scholarship will cover the total tuition fee, including living cost for three years. You understand what I mean? So what can you you know anticipate? Expect the uh, total money for three years. Twenty million one per year. Multiply three years. Sixty million one plus two million one per month. Multiply thirty-six months. So how much money in total? Can you guess it? Sixty million one in total tuition fee plus, right? 24 million won per year living cost <coughs> multiply 3 equal 72 <coughs> million won for living cost. So in total, the scholarship covers how much money? 1 billion 
1 billion, what can I say? That's it. 1 billion 32 <coughs> million for three years. Wow. Small money, right? No. <laughs> right? Why I was stopped? Because the university, when I visited the university office, they told me that your scholarship will cover only 70% for tuition fee without living cost like Chinese. Why? You understand what I mean? The condition is different to China and to South Korea. Even the scholarship name is the same one. University fee person. So to Chinese guy, 1 billion 32 million will be allowed. For me, just 60 million won for three years. So I could not receive the living cost. 72 million won. I could not guess, get it. So I was very stressful. So I went to the office. So why I, I'm not the same to Chinese guy? So the university staff told me South Korea is the country, is the OECD, OECD members, one of countries in OECD countries. You, you know OECD, the economic developing countries, approximately 30 countries nowadays, 30 countries. So the South Korea joined to the, 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 uh, the group in 1997, in 1997, before uh, I went to the UK, eight years ago, or already we joined to the OECD countries, right? But China was still remaining outside of OECD countries. So until 1996, 1996 to South Korea can get the scholarship like Chinese, China. So I claim to God, oh God, why am I not the one to Chinese guy? Why you allowed me scholarship just only 60,000 won without living cost? I blame, blame, blame. If you work, what should you do? You understand what I mean? Yes. If you do not understand, I will tell you in Korean again. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though God promised to me the money, what I lost the money, the same one, but I have to, I had to work to live on as a cleaner, as a pastor, as a student. So I had three rooms there. I don't know this place, how many students, how many laborers, how many workers, I don't know. But certainly, this is the province of God like Joseph, even though you did not go sold out in your country, right? Yes. And then God gave me a wisdom to live on. So whenever we had on holidays in UK, normally in Easter holidays for two weeks, Christmas holidays for two weeks and in summertime, winter time more than two months we had to break time so my two sons hope to leave any places so I prayed for God God, what shall I do with my sons what shall I do what shall I do like Moses 
when the Israelites grumbled against Moses. We don't have water. We don't have food to eat like in Egypt, in the desert. So in Hebrew, you know, the word in Hebrew, Daba, just to pronounce together, Daba, Daba, Daba means word. Then, desert, 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 desert in Hebrew, Midbar, just to pronounce, Midbar, Dabar, Midbar. What is the difference between two words? Dabar, word, Midbar, desert. When Jesus started before starting his ministry, he was led to desert, right? So the Satan tested him. So you can make these stones to bread. So what did he say in the Matthew chapter 4 and 4? Jesus replied to him with these stones. People do not eat only this bread. Just to live with the word of God, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, word of God where? Even in the desert. So, Daba and Midbar. So when you ask to something to God, Normally we are difficult situation. We are thirsty situation. In South Korea, until 1990s, the growth rapid of Christianity was keep going on and was increasing until 1990s. Why? The GMP of the population over 20,000 one per year more and more. But in the whole world less than 20,000 one less than 20,000 one normally Christian countries are growing up. But over 20,001 GNP, and then after that, normally many Christian countries, the population of Christianity are decreasing, decreasing. The South Korea had the same way. So after 1990s, in the beginning of 2000, the population of Christianity is decreasing, decreasing. How about your country, Myanmar? At the moment, Myanmar originally the Buddhism country, right? Buddhist country. So slowly or rapidly changing to Christianity, right? No, slowly. So I mean, you are the frontiers of the Christianity, right? Like to the you know, Israelites who came from Egypt, forefathers. God called to Abraham. So you have to move out. When I pointed out the area from the Babylonia, <coughs> Ur. So what do you think Ur in Babylonia Ur? Why you know Abraham started to leave Ur? Why he lived there? And before living there, what did he do? I think when you go to, you know, visit the pharmacy store, you can buy Urusa. Urusa. You know Urusa? You don't know that. Just to visit to the pharmacy store, just ask to the, you know, uh, store, man or woman. Just Ursa. Ursa making peace 
in mind. So I'm just joking to you. Before starting his homeland, he should drink Urusai dick and then go to Kenya, right? So, I mean, as for me, I just got 70% of scholarship I got. I got it. But still remain 30% of scholarship. So God gave me a wisdom to ask for the remaining you know, tuition fee continuously. Keep going on, keep going on. So I asked to my supervisor here and there, here and there. So just to write down the reference to me. So I applied to more than 10 institutions in England and more than 10 churches and institutions in South Korea. So God replied to me, one place in England, one place in South Korea, the million trust in England, the foundation, normally many people after retire, they got the money, accum accumulated the money, so they, uh, they try to give some money to students or, you know, uh, pastors from other countries. So, you know, I'm a pastor, I have two sons, I'm allowed to the scholarship by the university, and then I also worked as a cleaner. So my supervisor wrote down the information, and then I sent the you know application to more than 20 places. So anyway, two places allowed to the remaining 30 percent of scholarship. So this is the providence of God. So I mean. Why I'm telling you the second verse in Matthew chapter 7 and 7. Ask, seek, no. Why? If you do not ask, if you do not seek, if you do not knock, he will not reply. The door will not be opened. So we have to keep trying to ask for something. Okay. So, anyway, firstly, my tuition fee was okay. Anyway, 70% plus 30% by, you know, two institutions for three years. It's okay. How about living cost? How can I do? Or oh, how God planned for me for three years up to six years? How? So I again pray for God. Please, God, I pray for living cost. So tuition fee is okay. I'm so happy. But God, I need more money to live on. Of course, I will work, keep going on with my wife for five years. So when I studied in my research room, I got a, an idea because the, according to the university, postgraduate university had a plan whenever who anybody uh, read, reads their papers in the international conferences and the university can mm -hmm. uh, allow scholarship. So this, is, this university is good, right? So I asked to the university the scholarship. So I applied for, for around seven or eight international conferences. So it, Rome, Italy, Paris, France, Amsterdam, Netherlands, Holland, and Estonia. 
Estonia, and Australia, Austria, like that. Seven places I read my paper seven times in Europe continent. So with the university scholarship, I could visit there. So with my family, I drove my car for normally 15 days. For example, from the Sheffield to Rome, it took four days. And I joined to the conference five days, returned to four or five days like that. I read my paper seven times. What do you think about it? Normally, when you study in other countries, we didn't have enough money, we didn't time enough, we didn't time to study enough time. So, uh, you know, many international students don't like to read their paper in international conferences. But I had to leave work. I had to take my family to going some places, for in particular to my two sons. And after finishing the holidays or vacations, normally my two sons go to school, back to school. Normally many, you know, guys, they talk together. What did you do in holidays? Or what did you do last two holiday seasons, or vacations like that? So if I do not take, I did not take to them to any places, they didn't, they didn't talk anything, just to stay, stay at home for all holidays like that. But this is not the right to children. So I plan to take that. So I didn't spend my money. Who gave me the university? By the plan of whom? God. God planned to give me the money via university. So I mean, you know, God always be with us. Whenever we ask, whenever we seek, whenever we knock, He will reply to you. He will, you will find it, something, and then the door will be open. We don't know in the future, near future, what will happen. But just believe God who led you, even in South Korea, you will be the frontiers of your countries when you go back to your homeland, like you. After six years, I went back to Korea, South Korea, my homeland. So I still, I'm teaching, I'm delivering a message as a pastor. So, is this the plan of God? Do you believe it? Yes. yes. And then you can do it. But you will do it. He will lead you. Like me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll give, I'm giving you a testimony. Real testimony. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's pray. Thank you, Lord. You love me. You love us. And we, you always be with us from the old time to the present time. Lord, you always be with us. Please, we ask, we seek, we knock to you. Lord, always reply and open the door and then you can always answer the, the exactly what we are situation so you know the difficult our current situation please always be with us in the name of Jesus I pray Amen, Amen.